Hello Taurus, how are you today? Welcome to the channel. I'm so glad you joined me. Thank you for stopping by. I want to thank all subscribers and welcome new visitors. Let's take a look Taurus and see what's going on in your love life. We have death card. Wow, right out of the deck first off. Death card in the recent past. So there's been a death and rebirth and ending in a new beginning. Judgment, look at that, another Scorpio card, two Scorpio cards, two major arcana Scorpio cards. So it really looks as though for many of you, of you, you have pulled the plug on a relationship. Um, you're making a dramatic change, Taurus. This is your seventh house. Many of you may be getting a divorce, certainly a separation. Judgment is oftentimes the decision, but also the paperwork for the judgment of divorce. The Ace of Cups is the energy of how you see your future. The Seven of Cups is the energy that you're projecting into the world. So when people look at you, they think that you are, you know, out enjoying yourself. You know, looking upon a star, wishing upon a star. So they definitely feel that you're in this very dreamy energy. That's Pisces energy. The Ace of Cups is water sign energy. So you're in the mood for love, Taurus. You're in the mood for love. So I'm reading this as a single relationship because it looks like something has ended. The Emperor card indicates how you view your future going forward, that you have a master plan and that you're going to work on it, you know. You're going to put your feelers out. You're going to check with your friends. Do you know anybody? You know, it looks like you're going to really get out there and really have some fun, talk to a lot of people, cast a wide net for your love life. Five of Wands energy, you're going to let people compete for your attention. You're going to allow people to prove themselves to you before you make any decisions. So, but you are really open. It's beautiful energy, Taurus. Good for you. We have the Two of Swords, so you're not going to make any decisions right away. You're playing it cool. Look at that. You can see underneath that hat, Taurus, but nobody would ever know that you could see everything that's going on around you. You're being very quiet. You're not saying much to anybody. You're keeping, you know, you're keeping your own counsel. You're not really talking to friends or getting, getting anybody else's opinion. I would say, though, that there are friends that you have that probably are very happy that you have a breakup with the current person or the recent person. Your energy, the chariot card moving forward, beautiful energy, Cancerian energy. There's a lot of water here, Taurus, a lot of water. But you're moving slowly towards a future. You definitely want to break out of the limitations of the past, okay? Beautiful. I like it. It's such a soul growth kind of reading. Let's go ahead and clarify the cards and see what you have. So I'm going to give you that table shot for the clarification. Hold on a second. There we go. Okay. Can you see that clearly? Let's see what we have here. Okay. Good. So let's look. And see. So why is the death card here for our Taurus friends? Why is the death card here? Why is the death card here? What ended? Ah, uh, it uh, looks like for many of you, a long-term committed relationship that was most likely marriage has ended or, you know, I think it's ended through divorce because I get judgment, which is actually a decision that is made. So I don't feel as though, for most of you, I don't feel as though you lost a spouse to death. Okay, if you did, which is possible, then you did. Please leave a comment to let me know. The we have the magician card is clarifying the judgment card. You are you are up for the magic. You are up for the magic of finding a soulmate. It looks as though in this your your decision that you made to get out of this relationship may have been influenced by somebody that you have your eyes on, a lover that you would like to manifest. But for most of you, to me this is metaphorical. You're in the process of manifesting a new love. The two of coins says that you are, until you really find true love, you're not going to commit yourself to dating exclusively until somebody inspires you to do so. You're going to keep your options open. For those of you who did leave a marriage for a third party, it looks as though it's going very well. 
So different messages for different people. Okay, why is the Seven of Cups the way everybody's viewing you? Oh, the Six of Wands. People are viewing you as definitely being very spiritual in the way that you're going to claim victory and love. That, you know, you want to pick the right person, you want it to be the right situation. And what we're seeing here is this energy of you being a winner. Everybody sees you as a winner. Throwing caution to the winds, page of wands, but the moon card is clarifying also this five of wands card. So though you're throwing caution to the winds here, you have a plan. You don't know how it's going to work out, but that's normal, right? Sometimes it worries you, though. For those of you who are in a relationship with someone else, it does look like you worry about competition. Again, I'm reading this mostly as a singles reading with you just considering that you, what your options are. Taurus, why do we have the Two of Swords? What are you ignoring? Ah, romantic gestures. <laughs> okay, so you see people sort of circling around you and you're being very cagey by not giving anybody too much attention. Taurus, Taurus, well, you know what? I like your spirit. You've really taken things in hand here. Why do we have the Five of Wands here? We also, you know, this Five of Wands energy is over here clarifying. So let's look at that. Why is the Five of Wands here again? Yeah, somebody was a lightweight in love. So for some of you, and, and it won't be a lot, but for one person, it looks like you actually divorced a marital partner for a lover, and this person really didn't have the power to come through for you, but you're happy in your decision. I see happiness with the decision, and it's a good spiritual energy that I'm feeling from this reading. The As you move forward, the Page of Pentacles says that you're not going, you're moving slowly, even though you're moving quickly, you know, in theory. You're moving slowly to all that the world can see. And we're getting the Page of Pentacles, and that is the energy that you're just not making anybody any big offers. You're kind of just taking in suitors. You're willing to, you know, greet them or ignore, but you ignore people at the beginning. You want them to fight for you. The Nine of Wands says that you do have fire in your belly for love. The Seven of Wands says that you're going to be very careful about who you choose. So let's look and see what the Heart of the Fairy Oracle has in store for you in terms of clarifiers. Please tell us about the Death card. Please tell us about the Death card. Lady of Song. Oh, beautiful. Taurus. The Lady of Song is a lady who is wi only willing to be true to herself and to be who she really is. And anybody who doesn't accept her as she is with all of the stability, the beauty, the love that she brings, she's willing to turn her back on the situation. You know, so it really says that you are the Lady of Song, that that is how you're feeling, that you want something that's grounded. You want something and somebody that is worthy of your time, of your effort, of the depth for which you love. Tell us about the judgment card please give us a clarifier on the judgment card please the land between okay so right now you are in between significant people and that you know that sheds a lot of light you're really you're going to find someone look at this the land between I love this card look at how beautiful you're really comfortable right now. You, you're in a happy place. You're calm. You have gone through the dark night of the soul already. Why do we have the two of coins here for you? We have the rose kiss. So you will not date anybody exclusively until you really find, think that you've found the one. Why is the six of wands here and the seven of cups? Clarify, please. Feeling the world. Okay, so you know you're out there, you're doing a great job in your career, you're getting a lot of acclaim, you're getting a lot of attention, you have a lot of options in the earthly plane, you're doing very well for yourself financially and career-wise, you're throwing caution to the winds, many of you are doing new projects, I like it, it's really great, why is the page of wands here? 
and the emperor, female emperor, the, a deep breath. Okay. So you're really taking a deep breath. You're really taking time out for yourself with the two of swords. You know, you do feel underwater with the moon card, with the five of wands and the page of cups. Somebody really let you down. Somebody who you thought was going to be more significant in your life, Taurus. Uh, somebody that you really felt was a wish upon a star. You know, we see her hand over her heart. Somebody really let you down. Could have been a Pisces. But, you know, we're seeing that beyond the ordinary. They were beyond the ordinary in some way, but they weren't very mature because we have the page. When pigs fly. So this person was really odd and very different. Taurus, in a way that you found very alluring. Your heart is healing from this person. Their inability to really be who you, who they said they were, shows that you are in this exposed and revealed. So you do see the truth of who they are. You are in the tender embrace of becoming more and more yourself. You feel as though life is giving you a tender embrace, a beautiful period of time in which you are manifesting a new love relationship. So, Taurus, I'm going to leave it there. I hope you enjoyed the reading. Please like, subscribe, share, and comment if you liked it. Take care. Bye-bye.